Hi there, Frank here for Premium Members for the trading day of September 25, 2024, a Wednesday. So I'll just keep this short. If you look at the JPEGs, there's many opportunities, probably too many for us to handle. So we have to pick the ones that we like. All four indexes are breaking to the upside. Here's the ES, and I'm not going to go into much detail about these because they look the same. Here we go. And our analysis and predictions are just as spot on as most of the time they are. So it really pays to pay attention here. Here we go, the YM. And the RTY offers us a deep pullback, but I think it's going to go just where the others are going. All right, our beautiful currencies, 1R on the 6A. It's just spectacular. Here we go. And 6B is approaching 1 are here we go on the four hour chart so all these offer excellent opportunities for all of us canadian dollar really rock and roll today what else can we say and the daily has been triggered beautiful and also the 6e let's have a look all right this was a little different but notice that the consolidation i think on the daily we can actually just look at this as a secondary consolidation remember complex bull flag, which is already a very strong pattern. After that, this hesitation, we always said it's bullish, and now we are moving to the upside. All right, and then we had this beautiful trade on the New Zealand dollar. Look at this, 1R on the daily chart. Nothing that we didn't broadcast the news about in advance. And the 6S offers us a little study here with these two bottoms. Look at this. Failure test, low holds, and then three times we were unable to break lower. Look at the daily, which just gives us a summary of this beautiful three candle structure here. This just means that we have two red candles unable to break lower, and then we have this third attempt, and then we end up with a green candle. The top of that green candle followed by another green candle is a clear bullish sign. So if you want, you can still consider this daily structure not too late to enter on the daily. Beautiful stuff. And then we have, let's look at our precious metal trades, long on gold and SI, our little darling SI that we've been preaching about, finally is doing what we said it would. And look at that, we're marching on to 33 and almost a 1R on the 4-hour chart. Remember, there's more after 33, but right now we're just aiming at 33. All right, continuing on with Bitcoin MBT, bullish setup, clear structure, worth following up on this for another 1R on the 4-hour chart. If you want to fish for a bigger fish, then look at the weekly which is just about the trigger here. Okay, and then where else? Let's see, a couple of agriculturals. I think some of them moved too far. I think it was ZL that ran away a little bit, but doesn't really matter. And also the measured move on the daily has now been practically accomplished. Oh, let me not forget precious metals. If you have missed or not active on gold, or perhaps not interested for any reason in SI, then here is platinum, which is just triggering right now around 99 and change for a 1R on the daily. Look at this beautiful, perfect storm on the weekly, daily, and four-hour structure pointing into the same direction. So platinum is right here for us for tomorrow. And then let's see what else. Perhaps we can look at ZO. All of these are pushing to the upside, but the structure is not clear, so I think there's better opportunities elsewhere. And a few days ago, we looked at soya beans and wheat. Let's have a quick look. Working on a measured move, and wheat is also vaguely bullish for a measured move, but the other asset classes look much better, namely indexes and metals, even MBT, not to mention currencies. So there's lots of opportunities. Let's pay attention and we'll be back in the morning. Until then, mindful trading.